Just like the nervous system in our bodies, APIs are integral to the operation of modern digital businesses in Asia Pacific and Japan. Yet, the vulnerabilities, often overlooked, have opened the door to dangers from the shadows, such as unauthorized access, data theft, fraud, business disruption, regulatory penalties, and massive financial and reputational losses. Hence, the need to protect your APIs is huge. In our latest State of the Internet report, we'll show you what you need to do to defend your APIs and how to build the right strategy for it. In the Asia Pacific and Japan region, the rise in API attacks has become increasingly alarming. 15% of all API attacks now target the APJ region. This is likely to increase further as API adoption and the open API market in APJ catches up with the other regions. This contributes to an increase in the number of insecure APIs being deployed, which also means that the frequency and severity of API attacks in APJ are expected to rise significantly. Out of all the API attacks in APJ, 47.9% targeted South Korea, followed by Indonesia at 39.6% and Hong Kong at 38.7%. The top five industries in APJ targeted by these attacks are manufacturing, gaming, high technology, video media, and commerce. We also see that the top API-specific attack vectors in APJ contributing to these figures are local file inclusion, or LFI, server-side request forgery, or SSRF, and command injection, or CMDI. In 2023, bot requests were also a significant area of concern, with 40% of over 2 trillion suspicious bot requests targeting APIs. These attacks threaten the entire API landscape, not just expose customer-facing APIs, but also partner-facing North-South APIs and internal East-West APIs. The dangers posed by API attacks have grown so severe that OAuth has created a separate top 10 list of threats and vulnerabilities dedicated to APIs. With APIs increasingly handling sensitive personal data and financial information, many governments in APJ such as Australia, India, Hong Kong and the Philippines have begun including APIs as part of their cybersecurity compliance requirements. Also, Section 6 of the upcoming PCI DSS guidelines includes new standards on the development and implementation of APIs to reduce the risk of compromise. On top of that, several countries across APJ have adopted the Open Banking Framework, which places a strong emphasis on financial API security. It's clear that organizations in APJ are aware of the importance of API protection. However, Many of them still encounter obstacles as they navigate the API threat landscape. So, what challenges do organizations in APJ face? APJ organizations face three major internal challenges in navigating the API threat landscape. API visibility, API posture, and API runtime challenges. Shadow APIs are the main API visibility challenge. These are APIs that organizations cannot fully account for in terms of visibility, ownership, purpose, and the sensitivity of the data they handle. Vulnerable APIs are the main API posture challenge. These may contain flaws or misconfigurations that attackers can exploit for attacks like data scraping and account takeovers. Organizations often also struggle with API runtime challenges, especially in detecting if APIs are being abused for data breaches. This includes difficulties in distinguishing normal from abnormal API behavior, a challenge that is critical today as attacks become much more evasive. These three challenges are heightened by two key factors, the speed of API releases and the lack of visibility after authentication. Complex APIs are being released with increasing speed and sophistication. This rapid pace makes it difficult for security teams often already facing a talent shortage, to evaluate API security in a timely manner. This often leads to misconfigurations and vulnerabilities, especially when efficiency is prioritized over security best practices. Current web app protection models are effective against known web-based attacks, but less so for detecting runtime API abuses. Once APIs are authenticated by the API gateway, there is usually no further visibility creating a significant blind spot where abuses commonly occur. 
But for organizations in APJ, there are external risk factors that compound the effects of the internal challenges. So, what are the risks that lurk on the outside? The main external API security challenge is the unique methodology of API attackers. Unlike conventional cyber attacks with multi-step queue chains, API attack methodologies are more compact, making them harder to detect and mitigate. Here's what the API attack methodology looks like. Attackers start by identifying and narrowing down a list of target APIs within your organization. Then, attackers gain a deeper understanding of how these target APIs work and look for vulnerabilities. Attackers will then attempt to exploit these vulnerabilities using various methods. These can include API brute force attacks, vulnerability exploits, DDoS attacks, alongside evasive business logic abuse. Attackers spend most of their time in the first two phases, subtly probing and gaining intelligence while avoiding overt hostile behavior that would raise alarms before they're ready to launch actual attacks. There are critical stages whereby organizations would be able to identify when an API is under attack or exhibiting unusual behavior. However, it isn't enough to wait for signs of these attacks to show because it's usually too late by then. That is why it is vital for organizations to ensure that their APIs are well protected. So, how can organizations defend against API attacks? When it comes to protecting APIs, conventional defense strategies will not suffice. Organizations must ensure that their defenses are able to detect when APIs are under active attack and when they're exhibiting unusual behavior. A robust API security strategy incorporates traditional solutions like API gateways, alongside advanced approaches utilizing deep behavioral learning to combat threats like runtime abuses. It must provide multiple layers of visibility through automated discovery, risk audit, behavioral detection, and investigations with threat hunting capabilities. Here are five recommendations to help you build a strong API security program. Firstly, document all APIs and incorporate them into your API security controls to enhance visibility. Secondly, address misconfiguration issues and API vulnerabilities to strengthen your security posture. Thirdly, implement a solution that allows for proactive threat hunting and risk assessment while also assisting with compliance. Fourthly, mitigate highly evasive threats like API abuses and fraud by monitoring for abnormal API behavior using behavioral analytics. Lastly, follow the OAP's top 10 API vulnerabilities to prevent common attacks. However, do note that API security is everyone's responsibility, not just your security teams. Based on Akamai's experience with our clients, effective implementation of such an API security program will result in better API visibility, quicker resolution of possible vulnerabilities, improved overall security posture, and more proactive threat hunting capabilities. Much of the danger posed by API stems from the vulnerabilities that lurk in the shadows. The key to mitigating this risk lies in gaining visibility into your API posture with an API-centric strategy that shines a spotlight into these dark corners, coupled with an awareness of the threats and vulnerabilities lurking there. Archimai Security Research Blog is a resource for staying informed about the latest API threats. For more insights and practical recommendations for strengthening your API security, read the full State of the Internet report linked in the description below.